Hey, what's good everybody? This is the boy right here and I'm doing a follow-up video on the Hisense U7G TV. Now this TV uses quantum dot technology and this one in particular is a 55 inch TV. It uh, is a native 4K at 120 Hertz. You got two HDMI ports. Uh, no, you got four HDMI ports. Two for HDMI 2.0 and two for HDMI 2.1. With the HDMI 3 port is um 4K um, HDMI 2.1 with eARC. So if you got a sound bar and everything, you can connect it and it's good to go. Um, I'm doing this video because I just want to go to some features. So in case if you're thinking about getting this TV for either your PS5 gaming or your PC gaming, which I'm doing right now, I'll show you some features which I think would help you to get the best or the most out of this TV in terms of picture quality and performance. Now uh, right now, so far, I'm just loving this TV. I have it for just a few hours and I'm loving the motion in this thing. It got amazing colors and um, it's very responsive. And you will not be disappointed. Um, you got amazing color darks and um, cause you got, cause it's a full array, full array dimming. So you got amazing darks, some great colors and it gets really, really bright. And you're probably thinking, why would you use a 55 inch TV for a gaming monitor for your PC? I'm just crazy like that. So you could just call me Crazy Joe or call me Batman, by the way. Okay, what I got right now, let me just get to the point. Right now, I'm playing God of War through my ASUS G15 Advanced Edition gaming laptop. As you can see right here, the FPS is locked at 60. All right, this is what I'm gonna show you. It got two HD HDMI formats. So if you hit the, the menu button, you can show you right here, you got um, two HDMI formats. You got standard and you got enhanced. So when it's on standard, it's going to be at 4K at 60 Hertz. As, as, as when I come out, I'm going to show you. As I come out, I'm going to show you real quick. See, it's going to be a 4K at 60 Hertz. And if you select HDMI format um, in the enhanced format, it's going to lock it at 2K at 120 hertz let me show you real quick you can lock it at 2k at 120 hertz and you, and you see you got hdr10 activated immediately which is a pretty cool feature now you got some you got some um, pictures what i want to show you real quick so you can see the fps is climbing up but um i'm going to show you real quick you got some nice picture settings it got um i got an h it has an hdr game and these are some formats I got right here, which I like. You got HDR Vivid, HDR Standard, HDR Energy Saving, and some other modes right here. But I'm gonna get out of this one. I'm gonna show you real quick. Let me just get out of here. Let me, just, let me, let me put it back on Standard real quick. And in order for you, in order for you to get that feature on, if you have the ASUS G15 Advantage Edition Gaming Laptop or any laptop for that matter, you have to go into the display settings like this, you, which I'm going to show you real quick. Um, boom. I'm going to, I hit the wrong button. So you would have to go right here or, and you would have to select the monitor, which is the Hisense. And you would see usually right here, you would see HDR play stream not support, but, you, but um, the HDR is in use right here. So usually I try to turn it on. And you and you won't turn on because the reason why you won't turn on because it's on the standard HDMI and the standard HDMI only goes to um 60 FPS for some reason. But when I put it down on the enhance, that's when that's when you can turn on the HDMI on this monitor. So I'm gonna show you real quick right here. Let me scroll down real quick. Let me get out of here real quick. I'm gonna show you guys. So with that being said you would have to select the monitor. I think, where did I go again? Yeah, okay. So when it's on the standard, as you show right here, it's gonna stuck, it's gonna be locked at, let me zoom in. When you got it on um, standard HDMI, it's gonna be locked, it's gonna lock at 4K at 60 Hertz. And remember this TV is um, native 4K, um, you got 120 Hertz as well. I got the HDMI cable inside the HDMI um, port 4 which is 120 Hertz 
but I guess it depends on the HDMI settings. It's going to be locked either at 60 hertz or 120. As you can see, it's in standard, and at the highest it will give me is 60. So, so let me get out of here. Now, with the, if you want to get it at the full 120, that will hit the menu button. You just and you're going to select standard format. And you're going to click the enhance. You click the enhance format HDMI format. Now you can see it go to the 4K at 120 hertz. Then you can go into the setting and select HDMI. So that's all you're able to get to lock into some features. So you go back into the display and then oops. And then you would go into your the display right here. And then you would select um the, which I do select the high the, the high sense and it's at its full 120 hertz at 4k as you can see right there now the benefits of doing this i am not so fond of i'm not so fond of H, um, hdrs for some reason because for me the colors never never please my eyes when i use HD, hdm hdr and as you can see right here at the bottom of the screen i want to show you for the peak brightness for this monitor the peak brightness is just say 1500 nits with HDR, as you can see HDR right here, and um, the eight bit with dithering, you got the eight color format going to be RGB, which is going to be which uh, which is going to be amazing. So that's how, that's how you're going to end. That's how you unlock HDR10. You're going to have to put the HDMI format at enhance to get all its features. So let me get out of here. Now we're back to um, God of War, and this is for the PC. I'm gonna show you some nice picture settings real quick. So you hit the menu button and you're gonna go in the picture. And um, you got several HDR game features. I'm gonna go on Vivid so you can see what it looks like. Vivid HDR, HDR Vivid does not look good. I was gonna show you real quick. I don't like the way it looks. It looks cheesy. Let me just zoom in so you can see. Let me get out of here. See how it looks? Looks kind of, it looks, I don't know how to describe. All I can see it does look horrible. That's all I can see. Let me zoom in so you can see, so you can see create some more. HDR Vivid is not the best looking. So I would not recommend that. I got my favorite. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you guys in a moment. So let's go back to some, some more picture settings. You got a um, standard, which is okay, but it still look kind of crappy. You got any, I don't really mess with energy saving. So you got HDR game. One thing I like about when I put it in game mode, the characters just look, it smooths out everything. The character looks smooth. And um, you would have to tinker with the color settings a little bit. Let me get out of here. You'd have to tinker with the color settings a little bit to get the colors the way you want it. But when you put it on game, everything just looks smooth. Like it's, it, it, it takes out all the rough, the jaggedness. It take out all the jaggedness in the character, smooth the background. As you can see with Kratos, and still gameplay is fantastic let's go into sport let's see what they look like in sport it still got that trashy trashy look and it's and it's loud the, it's, the texture is loud it's terrible you got theater which is it tones down tone it down a little bit but it's still the same texture um filmmaker mode it it smooths it out and it kind of kind of make it look like more like you know like in a movie settings. It looks it looks pretty good. So filmmaker mode in HDMI, in HDR, it looks pretty good. But this is the one right here. This is all you're gonna get IMAX mode. You have to put it on um the HDMI um, enhanced format in order to get IMAX mode. And IMAX mode, I love it. It's to me. It's to me. It's it's one of the best in my opinion because it's so smooth. I like the texture, it's so smooth. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. But if you want the, if you want the colors to be at your liking, you're gonna have to tinkle, tinkle with it right here in the settings with the contrast and stuff, but which I don't really do. I don't really go, I don't really mess with that. So that's how you, that's how you get all of this right here. But if you're not into that kind, like I said, you could use, if you want to connect your Xbox, your PS5, your, your PC, that's what I, um, Richard, I'm using it for PC gaming. 
you could you could use enhanced form you can use um the enhanced format but just remember it's going to drop it to, to um 2k at 120 hertz but you could see that it's pretty stable for playing games like god of war it's, it's not that bad at all uh, so at least you keep it in you keep it in the, you keep it at least in the high 60s and you know when you change when you change different um screens um with different when you go different areas in the game uh, that because i guess it depends on what you're doing you may drop it a little bit or not but you keep it you keep it above 60. but if you want a solid 60 fps you'd have to get, you'd have to you'd have to um put it back into f um the standard hdr so which on the menu button right here on the remote hdmi format put it on standard it will give you 4k as you can see right here, it gives you 4K, but at 60 Hertz. And 60 Hertz is locked. As I show you right here. It's pretty locked. It ain't, it ain't going, it ain't going um, beneath it. It's not gonna go above it. But in that format, my preference, my picture preference in that format is game. It looks it looks it looks it looks like you're using a, a, a one of those top uh whatchamacallit? Gaming monitor like from HP and all of that. The colors is just fantastic. This is the colors I like. I like when it, I like this format. I like this format because the texture, is, the contrast is more is more rich, and you can see everything. You could even see the shadow of the um the the treasure chest right here, which is fantastic. So it's up to you. But for me personally, if you like the HDR, if you like the HDR ten effects. This is how you do it, like I showed you earlier. Menu, in order for you to get the HDR10, you have to select Enhance HDMI Format. You want to get the HDR10, and you can get to select the IMAX feature. You got to select HDMI Format to get that feature. And to me, it kinda, it's, not, it's not that bad. It's pretty, it's pretty nice, it's very smooth, but I don't like that. For me, it's, for me I don't like it. It's, it may be good for you guys. It looks more like a movie. But like I said, if because I'm lazy, I don't like to tinker with the settings, so it's not I'm not really feeling it. But it don't get me wrong. That's just my preference. But if you have this television set and you use it, you're gonna love it. Look at this little thing right here. It is very smooth. You can see the details inside the grooves. It is it's a it's a very good set. And um but for me I like things that, that pops, so I usually take it off and go take off the HDMI format, put it on standard. So I can get a 4K, but I'm limited to 60 FPS, which is not bad. Now, if you have an Xbox or you got your PS5, you ain't got to worry about all of that junk right there because you ain't got to worry about all that junk because you're going to get it regardless. But it also depends on the game. Not all games is created equal. So you're at the mercy of the game if, it, if, it, if you render at a high FPS or not. So that's what it is. So if there's something you want to um, check out real quick, just leave a comment and let me know. So let me just go ahead. I want to, I'm just going to show you a little cinema on this game and then we're going to end the video right there. All right, I want you to enjoy the cinema from the God of War. And then, um, like I said, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, all right? Look at this. Let me zoom in some more for you guys. That, my friend, is the beauty of the Hisense U7G ULED TV. Not OLED, but the picture quality is just as good. Look at that. All right, this is the boy JC. Thanks guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. I'll see you in the next one.